Hello, YouTube family, and welcome to another help episode of This and That. Yes, it is your boy, Rosie, your soon-to-be number one YouTube host. All right, family, we have done a series of Thanksgiving Big Easy videos, and hopefully by now we are ready to go. Today is Tuesday. The year doesn't matter. Tuesday 2021, Tuesday 2025, Tuesday 2035. Unless by then they come up with some type of snap your finger, cook your turkey type of technique. Who knows with technology these days. Alright family, today's video is about your final steps in your turkey prep. We are going to prepare space in our refrigerator because we chose to brine and inject and so we're going to prepare space in the refrigerator, which is first and foremost, clear it out. We've chosen a container to put our turkey in. We're going to wash the turkey down, take all the innards out, put it in the container, put it in the refrigerator. And today is 12 o'clock noon. Oh, this when I drop this video, it'll be 12 o'clock noon on Tuesday. And we'll have 24 hours of brining. Then that would be Wednesday at 12 o'clock. We're going to inject this puppy and take it home. All right, family, let's go ahead without further ado and let's get started. All right, family, the first thing you want to do is we're going to choose our container as to what we're going to brine our chicken in. And y'all know here on this channel, we're all about cheap, inexpensive, efficient. So I got this dollar, two dollar little, actually this thing is more than that if I remember correctly. It might be like five bucks. Kind of expensive for a piece of styrofoam. But anyway, this is the container we're going to use to house our turkey. We're going to take this section of the refrigerator to house our turkey. And as you can see, it's a little bit, uh, the container is a little bit too tall for the turkey. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear all this out. We're going to take this shell, probably completely remove it, so we'll have plenty of room for our uh, uh, turkey brine container, so whatever container you choose. All right, family. So I'm not going to bore y'all with that. I'm going to go ahead and clear out the refrigerator, and we'll be right back. By the way, fam, this is the actual bird that we're going to be cooking. Let's see how much this puppy weighs. She is 11.91 pounds. So this is a 12 pound bird, if y'all can see that. This is a 12 pound bird, perfect for the Big Easy. So we're going to take this inside once we finish cleaning up, get uh, cut this, all this plastic and all the covering off. We're gonna wash it up and we're gonna be ready to, for our brine. Be right back. All right, family. Ooh, that took me about 15, 20 minutes. A little dirtier than I thought it was, a little more full than I thought it was. All right, family, are y'all ready for the big reveal? Ta da! Check that out. Nice clear space right there for the, the cooler. I'm gonna be just using that space right there from now on, and I'm gonna try to keep it somewhere clean. I got my pickled okra and my my uh, jalapenos, chopped jalapenos, all my stuff. Y'all know how I am about cooking and my food. But anyway, now, y'all ready for the big reveal number two? Ta-da! There he is. We already taken all the giblets out. We trimmed up some of the fat. Oh, and by the way, I did wear gloves. I brought those to prove it. This is not going to be just my bird. I'm going to be sharing that with the whole family. So I want to stay safe. Y'all know what I'm cooking. And I'm cooking my own poultry. I don't wear gloves because it's going in this mouth, this trap. So we're going to go ahead and do our brine right now. All right, family. The type of brown brine that we chose was just something I got from our local Rouse's supermarket, turkey brine. And this says it has salt, uh, sea salt, spices, hydrated garlic, and cranberries. 
and other stuff. All right, so it says mix one bottle of turkey brine spice with two quarts of water in a large container or bag. Insert thawed turkey, 18 pounds or smaller, into brine. Add additional water until turkey, turkey is fully covered. Refrigerate from 12 to 24 hours. Remove from refrigerator and drain off brine. Uh, rinse turkey well and cook based on traditional turkey cooking direction. Now, I think what they really want us to do is take a container, mix our brine, and uh, then pour it into uh, on the turkey. So what we're going to do is we're going to take either one of our mason jars or the two mixing bowls that I had to top it off with. I think I'm going to pour a little bit of water off one of those mason, mason jars. Pour the brine in the mason jar, shake it up well, then dump it over the bird. I think that'll work. All right, fam, y'all stay tuned. All right, fam, that's going to take a little bit more water than I thought. So I'm going to go refill these mason jars, come back and finish covering this thing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take the whole cooler inside, finish covering up with water, and we'll be right back. All right, family, there she is. Completely submerged in that Rice's, uh, Rouse's brine. I hope that styrofoam container is up to the test, because that is heavy. As y'all know, water, I think, weighs like 8.4 pounds uh, per uh, gallon. And that's a couple of gallons of water plus a 13-pound turkey and some styrofoam, cheap styrofoam. All right, family, one other thing, and then we're going to bring this one to an end. I like to sprinkle just a little bit, or maybe a lot, of my favorite. Let's take the top off. I like to sprinkle a little bit of whatever your favorite seasoning is in that brine as well. It may or may not help, but I think it does. So I'm pouring a liberal amount of that KFC seasoning in there. If it's going to absorb, you might as well let it absorb some of the seasoning that you're going to be using during the cook. Now, I know we're going to be washing that off, but why not go ahead and see if you're gonna be in there for 24 hours, incorporate some of your favorite seasoning into that blend, and hopefully it kicks that up a notch. All right, family, we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on this thing, shake it up a little bit, put it in the refrigerator, and bring this one in for a last. All right, family, one last look before she goes in. Made a little bit of a mess there, but hey, clean up in aisle three. All 
All right, family, real quick before we close this one out. Like I said, it's probably going to be my last Thanksgiving video. I do have a, another couple of big easy ideas, and I'll probably present those sometime between Thanksgiving and Christmas. A couple of recipes, a couple of unique things I do with the Big Easy. All right, now, I'm going to answer a couple of questions before we close it out. I'm brining this turkey, but I'm also going to inject it. Brining is more of a technique to kind of evenly coat the outermost portions of the chicken or the poultry with whatever your desired flavors are, but it's still not going to be able to penetrate down into the turkey or the chicken or the hen or whatever. Injection takes it down to the innermost parts of the bird. I try to inject it from the outside every inch or so. I also try injecting it from the inside. The only downfall to injections are you're going to have what I call hot spots. There are going to be some areas where you're going to get the injection, and then some of you are not. You can't inject every inch of the poultry. So that's the only downfall. That's where brining comes in. If you're using a saltwater uh, brine, it's going to help bring that moisture to the top. If you're using a dry salt brine, it kind of does the same thing. But I think the wet brine uh, incorporates those flavors deeper into the bird. All right, family. This video is mainly for your newcomers, your old heads, as we call it. Y'all got this. You already know this. You have your own process. You have your own place of brining your chicken or your turkey, if that's what you do. So this video may be boring to y'all. I know you probably already cut it off a long time ago. But for you newcomers, you youngsters who are doing this for the first time, the second time, these little pointers, a lot of these videos are for y'all because we want y'all to be able to provide the same satisfaction for your family that we old heads have provided for years. All right, family. I think that's all I have for this one. Uh, don't think I'll be dropping another video, like I said, another video, a turkey video or Big Easy video until after Thanksgiving. I probably will drop some more videos, but they're going to be about shopping and they're going to be about uh, gift ideas for your outdoorsman, your outside cook, those type things for your camper, those type things. So there's going to be a lot of holiday gift videos on the way. Family, if y'all enjoyed this video, give her a thumbs up. If not, Give her a thumbs down and a brief reason why. And if you love what we're doing here, this and that, consider becoming a subscriber. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified every time we drop one of them awesome videos. It's your boy, Rosie. Happy Thanksgiving. And thank y'all for all the participation, the awesome comments, and the, the support that y'all have given throughout this holiday season and throughout the whole five years or so I've been doing this. Peace.